Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Ryan Finners and welcome back to the Finnertainment channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be installing a NoCo Genius 110 volt waterproof plug to a buddy of mine's golf cart. Now, the golf cart's kind of tricked out. It's got roof lights, wheel lights, Navitas, and it's got a lithium battery. Today's video is perfect if you have any type of battery, lithium or lead, and you're looking to onboard mount your charger, this is the ticket for you. Stay tuned. All right guys, so this is the NOCO GCP-1. Let's go ahead and open it up and see exactly what it comes with and what it looks like. As you can see, it's still sealed in the box here. I've not opened it yet. I purchased this for one of my golf carts, but I told a buddy I had another idea with mine. So I'm giving this to him and we're gonna put this on his golf cart. Let's see exactly what it looks like. So this is inside the box here. It just comes with the plug itself and three screws. Now this right here is pretty self-explanatory here. We're gonna mount this in the golf cart right here. An extension cord will plug into here. And on the back side, once we have our charger mounted, we'll just plug the charger into here. So this is the power supply for his golf cart here. He has a lithium battery. It's the Husky Big Battery. And when I plan on mounting this right here charger between the battery in the body of the golf cart in a secure location where it doesn't get wet and doesn't have a lot of sand kick up or anything like that since there's the vents on this charger. So on the golf cart here, this is where the factory receptacle would have went. Um, since this was a project golf cart for my neighbor, basically he pieced together this entire golf cart. It's never had lead in it. It's always had lithium for his build. Now with that being said, he's always having to unhook the battery, uh, main positive and negative away, and plug the charger directly into it in order to charge it. And that's one reason he was wanting to get this NOCO plug here and mount the charger on board. And on this club car body, the NOCO adapter fits perfectly in the factory receptacle hole. And it'll fit just like that. Now in order to mount the NOCO onto the body here, there's a gasket on the back side here. The gasket is connected to this flap here. Make sure the gasket on the back side and the holes on the front side are lined up properly. Once they are, you can go ahead and screw it in place with the included screws of the kit. So on this Club Car DS chassis, it's a newer chassis, so he was able to mount the battery sideways in here. He just used a um, ratchet strap here. It's very tight to mount this charger out of the way of the elements. So between the battery and the body of the golf cart, pretty much where we have picked out, I'm just gonna use some aluminum. We're gonna try to make a mount for down in here, rivet it together and mount the charger between the body and the battery like I just mentioned and go ahead and hook it up from there. Now once you have your charger mounted and receptacle mounted, obviously you can just plug in the power cord here. And I will say this is a very tight fit, so you don't have to worry about it coming loose. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the input power for my charger. Now I can go ahead and take these wires, put a wire tie on them, and keep them secure. These terminals right here are the 48 volt terminals they have the input for the battery, they have the output for the charger, input for the golf cart, and the input for the 48 to 12 volt converter. So the last thing we need to do is just go ahead and test it out. Once we go ahead and plug this extension cord up, on some extension cords you may have to cut off this top little notch here, if you can see that in the video. However, it does work in this application here. We we'll go ahead and plug it up. You're gonna hear the charger cut on and the voltage will start to go up as well.
and just like that it's working go ahead and pull it out voltage drops back down and we use the waterproof cover to seal that connection all right guys that pretty much wrapped this video up very simple very clean install anyone can accomplish this right here everything was mounted with rivets on the golf cart didn't use a welder or anything so this can be done just about by anyone if you like this video drop a like if you haven't already please subscribe ring the bell let you know every time i upload a video and until next time guys we'll see y'all later